My first sports memory, six years old, watching my hometown high school win the state tournament after a 60-foot buzzer beater. Pros produce these moments all the time. College kids are capable. This one's good if it goes. But when a high schooler hoists a hook at the horn, it's time for a March Madness mosh pit. And when a kid across town does it one month later, it's time to call timeout and find out what they're teaching these kids in Louisville. You don't normally shoot like that. No, I mean, I shoot regular, but that was a, like a hook shot. It was, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. In the scramble for a loose ball in a tie game against St. X, male high school's Alex Cook plucked the ball away with 1.6 seconds left and improvised a half hook from half court. What's going through your mind as the ball's in the air? Ball's Are you in the thinking air. it's good? I think it's good. Like, it really? has the trajectory and everything. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this has a chance. And then it goes in, it's just like, I don't even remember that five seconds of me getting tackled. I just was in shock. Just... Double the distance now with half the time. 0.6 seconds left in the game for Ballard's Jake Ramsey, who needs to get a miss rebound and shot off before the buzzer, and it has to go in from 90 feet because he's down three. First of all, to get a shot off in .6 seconds is a miracle, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like you absolutely practiced it, thought ahead of time, if it comes off the right side of the rim, here's what I'm going to do. But there was no thought mm -hmm. like that? No, nah, it didn't run through my head. It just, as soon as it came off, I said, all right, I got to throw it up. Just got it up as quick as I could. Our sports reporter Brian Winter had been stuck in traffic, ran in, fired up his camera, and this was his very first shot. First shot like this for Alex, too. Do you practice last second shots? No. no you don't? I mean, not miracle shots like not this. Not like that. Jake does practice buzzer beaters all the time from half court. That's where I kind of get my aim from when I'm shooting. shooting but this is a whole like other matter. Lots of people yeah. make half court shots. Yeah. This is 90 feet. Yeah, like, I, how I did you know. know how much arc to have on the ball? Uh, I didn't really know how much arc I needed. I just kind of threw it up, just whipped it out as hard as I could. Are these guys flukes or fluent in the language of clutch? We set up cameras and replicated the same shot from the same spot ten times. Ooh, almost hit in his third attempt. There it is. Alex finishes with a bunch of near misses nope. Nope. and another game winner. Total, uh, total luck there. Okay. God put that ball in the rim there. <laughs> Jake is downright scary. That's his first shot. Here's his second. That one's in there. Ah. Oh. Remember, he's doing this with two hands, shot put style. How do you end up with strength? Uh, I guess football just player. football player, lifting weights all the time. Jake finishes 0 for 10, but six of them so close. We're wrapping things up, shaking hands, saying goodbye. Only six tenths of a second left in our story. Yes, after review, he did. Always remember, never turn your back on Jake and Alex if there's any time left. John Bowl, Wave 3 News.